Copestone Podcast. Coach Stone Podcast number 40. I want to thank everyone for listening to Coach Stone Podcast, JC Hawks Radio, JC Hawks Sports Network, and BJ for letting me do this. If you ever miss an episode of any of my podcasts, you can listen to them on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, Google Play under JC Hawks Radio. Also, remember, go to my website for more information about my podcasts, blogs, books, football tips, free PE games, and coaching certifications. Also, I recommend if you go to the bottom of my website for all the promo codes of all the products that I think would help you as a coach or a player, and you'll hear them during the commercial breaks on this podcast. Remember, if you haven't seen my books, Back to the Basic Drill Manual Series, I highly recommend them. They are on Amazon.com, hardcover, and Kindle. There are currently 12 football books out. They range from tackle books, flag book, Tackle Bar Book, Football Clinic Notebook, Mom's Edition, Junior Edition, a quote book, Motivation Quote Book, over 2,900 pages of drills and content. With this being the 40th episode, I wanted to blow it off the top. My guest is going to be great. You guys are going to love him. I've talked to him numerous times. His product is phenomenal. His name is Jason Allridge, President and Founder of Turf Tank. Jason, are you there? Yes, I am, Coach Stone. Thanks for having me on. No, hey, thank you very much for coming on. And let's just go over the little game plan before we start. We'll start with a pregame. You'll talk about yourself and your company first. Then we'll go to commercial break, come back, do a kickoff question. Then we'll do a first drive question. And then we'll have halftime, get some water in us, paint, paint some fields, come back, kickoff return question, second drive question, and then a two-minute words of wisdom, and then the game is over. So, Coach, without further ado, are you ready? I'm ready. Perfect. Pre-game, tell us about yourself, and tell us about this wonderful invention that you have called the turf tank. The floor is yours, sir. Awesome. Well, um, as you mentioned, uh, I'm the founder and president of Turf Tank, and it has quickly become the world's leading GPS autonomous paint robot for sports fields literally all across the world. Um, I uh, came up with this idea back in 2016 and uh, was actually watching Shark Tank and was sitting with my son and said, you know, wouldn't it be awesome if we could develop a robot that could paint sports fields? Um, I've had a background in coaching high school football, high school softball. Um, I've been around the game, passionate about it. Also worked in uh, different information technology sales and marketing um, opportunities with diff- different companies in the past. And so I knew this is a big headache for coaches and turf managers all across the U S and literally across the world. And so i um, just started going down that path of uh, creating a paint robot. And it's a, uh, it's been an awesome journey. And uh, you know, our, one of our slogans is to make your mark, no strings attached. And that's what we're trying to do is making our mark on the sports industry with this product. So I'm super stoked. Um, to be able to talk about it tonight. Awesome. And then do me a favor. Can you tell us a little about like, you know, if someone wants to know, like they just heard turf tank, right? They're like, what is this? It's like something you drive. What is it? And you know, you talked about what's all the social media that you guys have. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we have several different social media platforms that you can check us out. If you go to uh, Twitter, um, our handle is turf underscore tank. So that's T U R F underscore tank. You can also go to our Facebook page um, and search for Turf Tank. You'll find that very easily. Our website has a ton of information, and that's www.turftank.com. We're also on LinkedIn and Instagram. Um, So you can find us. If you just go out and Google Turf Tank Paint Robot, you'll find tons of information, whether it's testimonials, product videos, news stories. Um, It's pretty cool to just see what uh, what the product has been able to do in the sports industry. Awesome. Coach, let's do this. Let's go commercial break. We'll be right back. I got a kickoff question for you, but I'm going to say kickoff questions. I'm going to ask you one question first, and then I'm going to come back and ask you another question with that. Is that okay? Absolutely. Perfect. Coach Stone podcast number 40, Jason Allridge, president and founder of Turf Tank. We'll be right after, we'll be right back after this commercial break. The safety of your players is more important than ever. 
as the game changes to protect the players, TechoTube USA is a leading way with the original innovative product design, not only to practice safer, but promote and teach the best tackling technique. Invented in 2009 by professional rugby player and coach Glenn Remnant, Tackle Tube allows the players to simulate real game situations, track and tackle a moving target, promote great body position, and improve technique and timing. Coaches in the U.S. and all over the globe are using Tackle Tube to promote a safer and more effective way to tackle. Unlike other bags that have a limited use, There are many ways to use a tackle tube in your practice, both in season and out of the season. Drills for every position, tackle tube never needs to leave the practice field. Check us out at TackleTubeUSA.com or on our YouTube channel and all social media. Look for Tackle Tube USA. Coach Stone podcast number 40, Jason Allridge on the phone. We have, he's a president and founder of Turf Tank. I can't wait to hear more about this product. Coach, here's your kickoff questions. Ready? Number one, how did you come up with the creation of Turf Tank? The floor is yours. Go. Yeah, so uh, literally um, my background, again, is uh, a background in sales and marketing. And I had been working for a well-known coach's tool technology that uh, just about every high school and college football program in the U.S. is familiar with. Um, that's called Huddle. I was actually the Southeastern rep that um, really helped get that product distributed through uh, the Southeast. Um, I worked for them um, for about a period of six years and really wanted to start thinking about what is the next type of innovative product that I might be able to be a part of, just like Huddle was in the early 2000s. And as I started to talk about a lot of the uh, people in my network, whether it was athletic directors or football coaches, I kind of had this idea in my mind of like, would it be cool if we could create a robot that could paint sports fields? And I specifically was thinking of the high school football market um, because I was a high school football coach. Um, Even when I was in middle school and I was the equipment manager for my local high school team in Lebanon, Tennessee, um, I would have to paint the fields on a Wednesday or Thursday night after football practice. And I remember my fingers freezing to death in October as I was spraying aerosol and filling in stencils and painting lines. And so I just, I really developed this passion for seeing if this type of technology, A, either existed, or B, if I could be uh, the one to help bring it to uh, the sports industry. So um, in the spring of 2016, I started to do research. And I found a robotics engineer because I'm not a robotics guy at all, even though I have a technology background. I found a guy who had a robotics engineering background. We started talking about, okay, what type of technology exists that we can maybe put this type of product together. And during that process of trying to kind of do the research and development on our own, I discovered that there were two young um, students right out of college who had actually developed a prototype um, that was performing a very similar function, painting soccer fields in Denmark. Mm -hmm. So in 2016, I reached out to uh, those guys, introduced myself, uh, invited them to the United States, took them to their first Major League Baseball game. We hit it off. And so we really just started putting our heads together of how we could build um, this product that could just dominate the sports industry when it comes to line marking. Um, And so the journey really started there in 2016. So uh, that's kind of how it all started. And uh, it's been a, a wild ride since then. That's pretty cool. Because what your product does, and I don't want to really, st- I, this is a part two question, right? I don't want to steal your thunder, I would say, right? So do me a favor. Great thing. Tell me this. How does it turf tank work? This is what's really cool about this thing. And it's like a little tank, right? That's what's really cool about it, correct? Yeah, absolutely. If you go to our website or if you search for any of our videos, it literally looks like a, a green robot from some uh, robot, you know, people... Uh, you, you think of uh, uh, different robot movies. Uh, people identify our robot with uh, different movies that they've seen, like Wall-E. You know, some people call it Wall-E or you know R2D2, and so it's it's kind of cool to just see how people relate to uh, the robot. But it's a it's a pretty decent sized machine. It's a lot bigger 
um, when you see it in person than what you see on video. Um, it's probably about three feet wide, three feet tall. Um, it can hold up to about six gallons of paint that goes right in the middle of the compartment. And so the way that it works is it's utilizing GPS RTK technology. That technology was kind of developed earlier, several years ago, specifically in the agricultural industry, for instance, where tractors could be designed to use GPS technology to make sure that they were plowing straight um, rows for um, agricultural, you know, Mm -hmm. because you have these huge wide areas. And so that's kind of where the technology first originated um, as a kind of a primary usage in in different industries. Um, And so it's taken that same technology stack, which is called RTK, uh-huh. and applying it to a robot. So uh, our, our robot, we have a base station that sets up like a private network that gives a static uh, GPS latitude and longitude position so that when you tell the robot to go paint a football field, it uses that base station as a reference point. And then the robot is painting the field. And as it's moving, it's doing its calculations and Everything is a lot of geometrical mathematics that, you know, again, I'm not a robotics engineer, but I know it works. Um, It does some pretty awesome stuff. And so um, when I bring a robot out to your football field to make a football marking, um, all I have to do is give the robot what we call flag one to flag two, which Uh is like a straight line point, you know, from point A to point B is a straight line. Everything is 90 degrees off of that, your, your, your turns your corners. Uh, and then the robot has programming uh, language in it so that it knows I need to do hash marks. I need to do tick marks. I need to do yard lines. I need to do numbers. I need to spell in the end zone. The robot can do all those things. And so it's pretty awesome to just see how the, how we've developed the product from when we started in 2016 to what we can do now today. Hey, I, I'm already sold coach. I'm telling you that right now. Here's my thing. For one of the people, like, and if you're listening to this show and you used to paint the fields all the time or still paint the fields, think about this. And and let me ask you a question, Coach. If I put that in, like you said, point A to point B, or you do that, right, or somebody does that, we can just, like, go get a cup of coffee together, right? We can just leave them go. We don't have to we don't stay around and, like, fill up the paint or anything like that. As long as we fill it up, whatever it has to be filled up to, right, it's all that, correct? Absolutely. I have a great story, actually. So we've been blessed to be able to – um, capture a lot of really awesome customers so far, just in the few years that we've been in existence. And just about uh, six weeks ago, um, we installed the University of Alabama, which probably most of your listeners have heard of, in Tuscaloosa. And uh, so they're one of our customers. And literally, we were painting Bryant Denny Stadium, which is the home stadium where Alabama plays. And I was showing the uh, turf managers how the product worked. And it was time for us to paint the hashes. Um, So the hashes are the one yard, we call them the one yard kicks or the hash marks. Mm -hmm. And I was showing them how the robot would literally start at one end on one sideline and would work its way all the way around to the other side. So it'd start at the one, go to the other end of the field, do the one. So that's, uh, you know, a hundred, nearly a hundred hashes minus the yard lines. Um, And then it would go back around the other way. So um, as we were setting it up, I said, Hey, it's about lunchtime, so why don't we let the robot work and let's go to lunch? <laughs> so you don't you don't even take the robot with you. You're telling me, right? You're just leaving, a- abso- you're leaving absolutely. You're leaving work. Yep. And so, uh, you know, I think they were pretty surprised that I was willing to let the robot paint Bryant Denny Stadium on its own while we went to lunch, and we did, and the robot worked perfectly. So that pretty much was a selling point for them. So yeah, once you program the robot and tell it the segment, we call it segments of what you want it to do yeah um as long as there's enough pain in the robot you hit play and the robot does its thing and you can focus on other things and and where that's really helpful uh, let's say in the turf management world is you've got a lot of guys that their job isn't just to paint football fields or soccer fields or whatever the sport may be their job is to mow to 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 weed eat to move different things around you know they have a lot of stuff on their plate and so now the, the robot becomes a labor productivity tool so that um, workers can get other things done during the day and let the robot do the work that people really, it's, it's stressful, right? I mean, you want your fields to look the best. You want high quality. Um, you want it to be very pr- uh, pristine. 
and all those types of things. And so the robot gives you that. And it also gives that, that person that normally is in charge of painting manually the opportunity to get more things done. Um, Coach, I seen, I seen that commercial you're talking about. I, I saw that commercial. Who are the chefs, right? So yep. I, I hear you. Yeah, yep, exactly. You know, that, yep. should be, that should be part of your commercial slogan right there. You won't get the chefs. You'll get the chiefs. That's right. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. And, and even with the high school football market, a lot of coaches. So um, as I said, we have the University of Alabama. We have the New England Patriots. But we also have small town high school football programs all across the U.S. that use this product. And so uh, in a lot of communities, the high school football coach, he's in charge of painting his practice field. He's in charge of painting his um, football field on a Wednesday or Thursday night, whether they have a JV game or they're getting ready after they do their Thursday walkthrough. And so those guys are having to work all week and then they're having to stay late on a Thursday night to paint their field. Now they can allow the robot to do that. It allows coaches to spend more time with their players and more importantly with their families. So that's a big win in my book when it comes to what are we trying to accomplish as a company? It's not just about selling a robot that does some awesome things and, you know, we, we can put it in a lot of places, but we want to make an impact on people so that they can look at the product and say, yeah, this is, this is making my life better. This is allowing me to spend more time with my family and my players and focus on things that are more important. And I still get a great looking field, probably better than what it is when I try to do it manually myself. And and let me ask you a question. The one question I have asked, and this is probably one that people ask, I know you said turf, right? Does it do all types like grass, all that stuff? Does it do everything? Yeah, that's a great question. So yeah, we, we call it turf tank in the, in the turf management management world, turf really is grass. So I would say predominantly our customers are natural grass customers, but we do, we do have some synthetic turf customers as well. We have some sports facilities that are all synthetic turf and they have inlaid lines for like their core sports, whether it's football or maybe even a baseball field, but then they, they have to have um, temporary lines for maybe alternate sports or a weekend tournament. And so the robot can actually work on synthetic turf as well. It's all based on what type of paint you put into the robot. So we have paint that works on natural grass or on synthetic turf as well. Sweet. I'm going to ask you that question down at the, uh, like uh, down the road with another question. That's okay about the paint. So yep, yep, yep. Let, let's do this with a commercial break. We'll go commercial break. We'll be right back. And I got the first drive question for you. Does that sound like a plan? Yep. Coach Stone podcast number 40. Jason Allridge, president, founder of Turf Tank. We'll be right back after this commercial break. In business for 30 years, Collegiate Sports Data is the most reliable source of high school football prospect information. We are a free service for high schools and athletes. Our focus is getting the right players in front of the right colleges. www.collegiatesportsdata.com Coach Stone Podcast number 40, Jason Allridge, president, founder of Turf Tank. Here we go, Coach. First drive question, okay? What type of feedback do you receive about Turf Tank from your customers? Can't wait to hear this. Yeah, so, you know, usually the the biggest thing that we see is that first time a person sees it in person. Um, As I said, you can watch the videos, you can see the social media, all that type of stuff. But when you see it in person, it's just a a huge wow factor. Um, I think a lot of times people have this, this perception that, there's smoke and mirrors going on and there's no way that the robot can really paint these lines this straight or this fast. Um, but when we show up at their location and we show them, they're just like blown away. And so I think one of the biggest challenges maybe or fears that people have is that it's going to be way too complicated for me to learn how to operate. I'm not yeah. a, you know, I'm not a robotic type guy, right? Yeah. But, or technology inclined, right? Cause a lot, some of these coaches like the old school ones, they, they like doing that because they don't know like, you know, this or that with technology, but you're saying, you're saying you don't have to worry about that. Yeah. So definitely. I mean, we do live in a day in which just about everybody has an iPhone or an Android. Um, so usually if you can operate a smartphone, you can operate the robot. We have a, a Android tablet that operates the robot. So literally the way the robot works is you connect your tablet to the robot and you drive it around like a remote control car. Um, and we have a, a, a application um, that's on the tablet and it's very intuitive, very easy. Um, we actually spend usually a day or two with the customer 
teaching them how to use the robot, how to set up the fields. Many times we set up most of the fields for them. If uh, they're like a high school or a smaller soccer club, doesn't necessarily take a lot of time. Um, but we teach any customer that, you know, even if there's something that we don't cover the day that we're here doing the installation, you're going to be able to have adequate enough information, both from what we train you in person, what we have on our support line, and also what we have on our online documentation to help you accomplish whatever might come um, down the road, you know, that you need the robot to do. So um, our customers find that the product is very intuitive. It's very easy to use. Um, as you build your library of fields, um, let's say you have a, a game stadium that has maybe high school football, lacrosse, soccer, then you've got your baseball stadium, you've got your practice fields. Once you build all those libraries the first time, you're literally just pushing a button and saying, okay, I'm painting my practice field today and I'm painting practice field one and I'm painting practice field two. You just choose from a drop down list. And the robot knows exactly where to go every time and paint a perfect line every single time. So, I mean, we make it super easy for the user. Um, and uh, most of our customers say, there's, there's no way I could live without this. Um, hmm. We actually just had a customer purchase their fourth robot, if you can believe it, down in South believe. Florida. Yeah. I have a school district in Panama City, Bay County School District. They have three robots. We have multiple customers that have two robots. And so, to me, the proof is in the pudding, right? You sell mm -hmm. a product and, you know, you can, uh, um, you, you can sometimes get a product in the hands of people um, and maybe they have buyer's remorse. We don't see that. But when you see customers come back and say, hey, I need a second robot. Hey, I need a third robot. Hey, I need a fourth robot. I think it really shows the impact that the product is making on the organization. Um, and so that's that's really, you know, that that's really comforting to us as an organization that we're doing some things right. That's, that's pretty awesome. I, I just by seeing it on the video. And like I said, if you go to their website, you see it drawing on a turf, like, or grass, I'm not sure what, what picture that is, but I think, uh, how long does it usually take to do a football field? Yeah, that's a great question. So um, a practice field you can do in about an hour. So I have, I have a lot of high school football coaches or athletic directors. They have their coaches meetings on Sunday afternoon. They'll go out, they'll put a, you know, they'll put about five gallons of paint in their robot and let it go paint the practice field in an hour. For your game field, it takes more like three hours. Um, that's if you're doing all your core outline, yard lines, hashes, media line, coaches boxes. If yeah. you're painting your numbers and your, uh, your end zone lettering, which we can do, so we can stencil anything you want uh, in the end zones. Um, that may take up to about uh, five or six hours. A lot of times that initial marking for your end zones will happen at the beginning of the season to stencil your numbers and end zone. And then they're just filling it in each week. Um, so that's not taking as much time while the robot's painting the numbers and the hashes. Um, but, uh, you know, that the technology enables um, teams to do a lot of cool things in their end zone that before they would have to go out and buy a special stencil yeah. Um, and lay it out and do it in the end zone. But one of my customers in Georgia, because Friday night was September the 11th, they actually painted let's roll in the end zone, um, which is, you know, thinking of the, the, uh, the statement that the guy made um, on September 11th when they um, overtook the airplane and that yeah. crashed in Pennsylvania. So, you know, that was just an example of, of uh, a high school team wouldn't have been able to do that easily without, purchasing stencils that would stencils, sell that. Yeah, those are expensive. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So they're not like the little ones you can buy at the store, right? Those are <laughs> right. you got a custom you got a custom order of those things. Yep. Well let let's do this. Let's go commercial break. We'll go into halftime. We'll let the band play. We'll paint some fields and we'll be right back. Does that sound like a plan? Absolutely. All right. Halftime. Coach Stone podcast number forty, Jason Allridge, president and founder of Turf Tank. We'll be right back after halftime. What legacy will you leave as a coach? The three-dimensional coaching framework empowers coaches at every level to fulfill their transformational purpose by helping them become fundamentally sound, skilled at coaching the mind, and focused on developing the heart. Are you needing to take courses to meet professional development or recertification requirements? If so, 
check out the different online 3D coaching course offerings at 3dinstitute.com. You can even take the 3D coaching course for three graduate credits. Make sure you use the coupon Unite All to save 10% on your entire cart. That's Unite All, no spaces, all one word, at 3dinstitute.com. The Big Four, a physical education book written by Coach Anthony Stone, can be purchased through the following locations, Amazon, iTunes, BarnesandNoble.com, and Kobo. Go Army Edge Football is a free game-changing app that allows coaches to draw their plays with X's and O's like on a whiteboard and then get the mental reps from the first person's perspective of any position on the field with real-time 3D graphics or virtual reality. Go Army Edge football comes preloaded with many example plays and drills for concepts such as formation recognition and RPO reads. Any coach in any system can benefit from demonstrating in Go Army Edge football, and every player can become a better football player with extra reps in the app. Go visit them on their Twitter or Facebook, insert at Gourmet Edge. Brunch. $30. Hey, that's okay, Wendy. That was a good carry. You're still the man. You're the man. Latte. $4. Ooh, shake it off, Johnny. Rub some dirt on it. New piano. $3,000. right, guys. They're not saying boo. They're saying movers. Supporting your team. Right, Sloan. Come on, Bobby. You still got the best arm in the neighborhood. There are some things money can't buy. For everything else, there's MasterCard. <laughs> This is BCAP, right? Back from halftime. I just, I just, I, I'll tell you later what I painted. It's pretty cool. Jason thought it was funny. So we have Coach Stone Podcast number 40. Jason Allrich, president and founder of Turf Tank. Coach, here we go. Kickoff return question. How has Turf Tank adapted to customer requests and market conditions since you started the company in 2016? The floor is yours, Coach. Yeah, I mean, that's a great question, right? When you come out of halftime, you got to make adjustments. We've definitely um, had to make adjustments um, over the years. You know, when we first started the, pro- the product in 2016, for instance, it was only developed for European soccer. Well, if you – I know this is a primarily football show, but the soccer in America is even different from soccer in Europe. So we had to quickly learn to adapt to American needs. Um, and then our number one priority was to develop American football. And so, you know, uh, part of the challenges was working with, you know, European developers to teach them the uh, measurements and field designs for different sports in America that maybe aren't in Europe as prevalent, such as American football, lacrosse, um, those types of those types of sports. And so, you know, we we started in 2016, 17, having uh, American football. And of course, once you start doing American football, you have to take in considerations of practice fields and some practice fields are not always standard size, right? Coach? Correct. Yeah. You know, I mean, you got, you know, you may go to one location and the practice field is only 85 yards long and maybe it's only 45 yards wide. It's not 53 and a third yards wide. So, I mean, we had to, we had to make the system be adaptable so that we could walk into any sports organization throughout the U S and have a product that would meet their needs. And so, You know, we worked really diligently with developing our um, software platform to be able to adapt to those changes and those requests. Um, So American football was a huge success. In 2017, we we had our first municipality that started. um, They had like three municipal stadiums. They had to paint high school football stadiums on Friday nights. Uh, We had a a stadium venue in Ohio that hosted uh, uh, a major league rugby team, uh, uh, a major league soccer team. Um, high school football. So, you know, we had to start making sure that we developed uh, route plans. We call them route plans or the templates for any type of sport. Um, Just last year, we, our robot painted for the national Quidditch tournament. If you know what Quidditch is, it's from Harry Potter. It's a game where you go around on broomsticks and stuff. So there's actually a national tournament for that. And our robot can do Quidditch. It can do cricket. It can do rugby. It can do Australian rules football. It can do baseball great, and softball. Great sport. Great yeah. sport. Yeah. So, I mean, it can just do all those different things that, I mean, if you think of a sports that are done outside, 
um, this product can do it. And, you know, we, we no doubt run into opportunities to where they say, Hey, can you do this? And we go, not right this second, but we'll work on it. And so um, one of the biggest challenges that hit us this year was the coronavirus pandemic. And, you know, from a business standpoint, it really slowed things down because everything shut down, including sports. Mm -hmm. But as sports started to slowly come back in different states, which thankfully they have, whether it's at the high school level or at the club and youth level or municipalities, there was a big need for social distancing. And so we started getting requests from our existing customers. Hey, can we paint social distancing blocks or circles, um, that sort of um, patterns? And so we were able to do that with the robot. And so, I mean, we, we've, we've had some news coverage of in some national periodicals about how the robot could help municipalities um, even in the high school football, um, high school football, um, like in the state of Alabama, and probably a lot of other states, um, they made the um, players box be longer instead of going from the 25 mm-hmm. to the 25 and now goes to the 10 to the 10. And so, you know, that Love way, so, 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 so the robot, so the robot can do that sort of stuff as well. And so, you know, we've, we know that, um, we need to be on our toes as an organization to be able to give people what they need because, you know, that's the great thing about the product is that the hardware, although we may change the hardware, you know, look and feel and design, you know, over a, a longer period of time, in a short period of time, we can make software changes that um, give the, the customer the ability to, to meet the needs that they have. And so COVID-19 has been a big example of that. Um, how we've been able to adapt to uh, those market and conditions. And that's, that's huge. Like, I mean, like if you're a school district, a, a park district or anything, you know, you just take this device, this device here can do everything for you. It could social distance camps. It could social distance football camps, soccer camps. It can paint your fields. I mean, I'm looking on your website, coach. There's there. It's, it's endless, endless. Well, let's do this, Coach. Let's go to commercial break, and then I gotta, gr- I, I gotta know now, because this is the, this is the thing that everyone's been waiting for. So, this next question is for you after this commercial break. Okay? Sounds great. Coach Stone, podcast number forty. Jason Allrich, president and founder of Turf Tank. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Safe contact, sound fundamentals. Tackle bar football is a safer approach that preserves the tradition and fundamentals of the football game. What is tackle bar football? Tackle Bar Football is a safer approach to the game that preserves the tradition and spirit of the sport. Players wear traditional football equipment plus a Tackle Bar harness that holds two foam bars across the lower back. The defender must attract and engage with a proper form tackling technique while wrapping the ball carrier and ripping a bar from the harness. With this approach, players stay on their feet rather than taking the ball carrier to the ground. Tackle Bar. Coach Stone Podcast number 40, Jason Allridge, president and founder of Turf Tank. Second drive question, Coach. Here we go. This is the biggest one, and this is the one I've been waiting for. Describe your pricing model and onboard onboarding process for listeners that may be interested in the Turf Tank. The floor is yours. Yeah, so one of the things that we want to accomplish is we want to be able to put this robot in the hands of anyone. If they've got a need to paint fields and it's a headache and resources are a challenge, we don't want finances to be a challenge with this product. And so one of the creative things that we've developed is a subscription-based model for users to be able to get the product. Um, Think of it like your Netflix subscription. Um, Think of any other subscription that you might have where you pay a monthly fee or quarterly or annual fee And so we've done the same thing with the robot. So um, we have three different pricing packages. One is called our basic package. Um, It's a one sport only option, meaning that you can get the robot and you can have it with the software for one sport. So let's say you're a small soccer club and you've got six fields. You'd love to have this technology. We have a price for that, which is $6,000 a year. Very, very affordable for a small soccer club to be able to do that. Um, Mm -hmm. We actually allow them to break the payment up into quarterly payments. So 
maybe they're only paying fifteen hundred dollars a quarter um, to have this to have the robot be able to paint soccer. Then we have our plus package, which is all sports. So just like I mentioned earlier, we have all the route plans of any sport imaginable that we call that our plus package. That's actually ten thousand dollars a year, and it includes a palette of paint. And so our palette of paint is equivalent to approximately 80 full-size soccer fields. So if you were to go out and paint 80 11 v 11 soccer fields, it would take you about um, 200 to 240 gallons of paint to do that with our machine. So we give you enough paint to do that. Um, For the average high school that Mm -hmm. has American football, soccer, baseball, softball, that same palette of paint would last them the entire fall and spring school year so that for $10,000, they can have the robot, they can have the paint, they get software updates, and they're protected with um, service and support and warranty so that if anything goes wrong on the robot, we take all liability and responsibility, um, as long as you don't throw it off a truck or something, right? But, uh, you know, if it, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, it's a, so, so, so that's very affordable. And then we have a pro package as well for some of our commercial contractors and our pro teams that has kind of some added bells and whistles. And so, you know, I would say a majority of our customers, probably 85% of them choose our plus package. We're starting to see a lot of our um, smaller organizations across the U S that maybe um, thought the robot was outside of their price point. Um, they're starting to uh, get the basic package. So we're seeing that to be a really popular product as well. And so I think an annualized cost for the robot makes it very affordable and you see the immediate ROI and the cost benefit on it. And so we've, it's, it's, it's been just tremendous on how fast we've been able to uh, get the robot out to people. We've honestly, we we're breaking records of a uh, number of calls, both inbound leads, um, sales, installs, July, August, September has just been phenomenal. It's been crazy, even even with the pandemic going on. And so I think 2021 is even going to be bigger and better. And so we're we're scaling our company out to be able to handle that growth. Um, we actually just opened an office in Omaha, Nebraska, nice. um, and we're hiring more people. And so, you know, I definitely think that Turf Tank is coming to a town near you if it's not there already. So we're super excited about it. And now I heard something like, and I, I heard paint. You're including the paint with the price. How does that work? You said now. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, with this subscription based model, we're giving you the robot and then we're giving you um, a palette of paint. Like I said, that palette of paint for the average high school football program or a club and youth sport, it's going to last you the entire year. You'll be able to paint all your fields using that paint. So if, if you break that down, there's some organizations that their paint costs are already three to five to $7,500 a year. And so, mm-hmm. um, the, the, the paint savings with our product happens mainly because we're shifting from a, uh, model where manually painting a field, you're usually using a high pressure paint machine that has high PSI. You're just putting a ton of paint down. So you're putting a ton of paint down, you're wasting a lot of paint. So even if, even if you're able to buy paint at a very low price, you're putting way more down than what you need to. Um, or you're using aerosol cans, which are very expensive. So you'll go through several cases of aerosol if you're painting an American football field, for instance. So with our robot, our product is designed to use just the right amount of paint. And then we offer a paint solution that is um, the right um, viscosity. We call it viscosity. It's the right texture. The gives a great look. Um, and it, it puts the right amount down so that you're able to reduce your paint consumption and reduce your cost. And so when people are doing their cost benefit analysis, what Mm -hmm. we're finding is we're cutting labor productivity. Well, we're increasing labor productivity because what used to take 20 labor hours to paint an American football field is now being done by a robot in about three to three and a half hours. And then you can get other stuff done while you're doing that. Absolutely. And, and then your, your paint consumption is being reduced by 50%. So we're cutting costs, you know, whether it's direct costs or indirect costs that you can't always see on the, on the bottom line, um, we're saving people so much money. And and then the fact that you can get this product on an annual basis with a subscription, um, I mean, it really, 
is a no brainer. If you really look at it and you really trust that, you know, this company that has this product is going to save me time and money. And, and that's what we're trying to prove in the marketplace every day. Awesome. So let me ask you this question, coach. So with everything going on, right. And all this other stuff. So the biggest question I have is this, let's say, you have, let's say like I have the advanced grade, you know, coach stone football back to the basics and I go do a camp and I want a checkered board. It's like, I want the end zone. That's 10 yards, right? It's a 10 yard end zone. Cause you guys are already painted the field, right? Let's say, yep. and I want a four by four squares all the way down, you know, and I want like three layers or whatever after the measurements are all squared away. Right. Yep. That robot could just go do that. I could, we could program that in there. Yep. Boom. Done. Yep. And then we can make those circles like D linemen run around like those circles, yep. like, you know, cause I love doing those circles when I was younger, I'd get so tired of the pain in the field. Those circles wouldn't look like circles. They would look like ovals. They would look like that stuff, figure eights. Yep. You know what I mean? So the robot could do all that stuff too. Absolutely. Yep. So, I mean, we have, um, if, if you see a lot of offensive linemen, uh, yeah. lanes they create, especially on practice field. So yeah, you could say, okay, from my, from my one yard line to my 10 yard line, I actually want, you know, I want a one yard lane. I want, I want, I want to do, you know, horizontal lines from sideline to sideline. Uh, mm-hmm. We do that with soccer. We do that with football. Um, yeah. We can do any shape and design that we need to besides the normal templates that we have for sure. Yep. Okay. And I apologize putting you on a spot here with the paint included with the whole palette, right? Do you, do you get all white? Do you get to break it up? How does that all work? Yeah, so typically the default is all white because that's about what you're going to need to get through Correct. your whole sports season. Yes. But you can, but you can pick other colors. So you know we have we have um, schools that maybe they they want to outline their number stencils, their mm-hmm. yard lines maybe in their core school color. So yeah, you can mix and match your colors. Um, but uh, most of the time, that core palette is going to be all white. But yeah, you definitely can pick any color that you want. And do, does the whole paint come to you first, or do you like? You get like a tally, like you send you, they send you like a couple at a time. How does that work? No, we just ship it all. I mean, we, we, I mean, if, if we think that there's going to be, um, you know, weather that's going to impact, um, the usage, if they don't necessarily think they need all of it right away, I mean, we can definitely hold some of it, but typically we'll just go ahead and send the whole, yep. We just send the whole amount and, um, you know, it gets used. Yeah. And and that's the thing. So, Okay, right, let's do this. Let's go to commercial. I love that. That's pretty awesome. Um, why don't we do this? Tell them your website right now if they want to contact you or any social media, and then we'll go to back. We'll go to commercial break because I think now everyone heard the price tag and all that stuff. But after you saying after breaking it down, all this stuff and all the pain you're spending and all this stuff, it it's it's it could be well worth it, you know. And it, it says what you're saying. So tell us everything like if we wanted to contact you or contact your company how to yep. get to it again and all that stuff. Yeah. So just simply go to our website, uh, www.turftank.com. Um, we have a link that you can request a quote, request a demo. Um, we've got a 1-800 number where we have people answering calls all, all the time. Um, so you can call our number. We have somebody there to pick it up. And if uh, nobody reaches out to you immediately, we'll be, we'll be to you as fast as we can. But um, yeah, we're, we're super excited about um, what the future holds for our company and, being able to make our mark on a lot of sports organizations around the world. Awesome. And you guys are all around the world, correct? We are. So um, we have, we have robots um, in Europe, in Asia and Australia. Um, so it's pretty Ooh. cool to just see that, uh, you know, the types of uh, places that we are. So yeah, turf tank is literally around the world. Awesome. Well, let's go to commercial break. And then we come back. I got the two minute words of wisdom for you. Okay, coach. Sounds great. Coach Stone Podcast number 40, Jason Allridge, president and founder of Turf Tank. We'll be right back at this commercial break. Do you preach about ball security? Is getting better each day something you strive to do? Do you want to work to eliminate fumbles? The high and tight teaching football is a revolutionary design football that encompasses virtually every method known to eliminate fumbling, thus maximizing your opportunity to be victorious. The high and tight teaching and training football is state-of-the-art patent football that gives athletes and those around instant audible feedback when you are holding the football correctly, high and tight, thus closing the gap between the wrist and the body and the elbow and the body. Whether you're a player, utilize 
the wing T carrying with two hands over the ball, or a pro style against their body, high and tight provides an audible alert when proper hold is executed correctly. Start to create habits that win games with teaching your players how to carry the ball high and tight. Order yours today at highandtight.com. Use promo code Coach Stone to save. Coach Stone podcast number 40, Jason Allridge, president and founder of Turf Tank. Coach, here we go. Two-minute warning, two-minute words of wisdom. The floor is yours, sir. Yeah, I would just say that um, our vision, it goes back to making your mark. And I think that with everything that we've seen in the world this year, um, we've seen resilience. We've seen people stand up and make uh, different statements and be firm in their convictions about what they believe in. I think we all want to be a part of a world where we make our mark in a positive way. And so when I think about our product, um, I'm proud that I was able to come up with this idea and execute it and bring a team together. Um, And our team is fantastic. Um, But, you know, even more than that, I'm excited about meeting the people throughout the U S and, you know, just the other day I was on a conference call with, one of our sales guys in Australia. And, Hmm. you know, what's cool is to meet new people that have the same belief systems that you do and convictions about, you know, sports is just a a great platform for life. Um, Everything that we learn from our coaches, um, our coaches can get us to do things that nobody else in the world can sometimes. Um, And, you know, that's me playing sports, me being around the coaching industry and the relationships that I've built. Um, that's, that's a part of who I am. That's a part of the passion that brought me to develop turf tank. Um, so, you know, again, we're all in this world together, um, to be able to live decent lives and treat each other with respect and kindness and, challenge the next generation to live with passion and to chase your dreams and to do things awesome um, in a way that makes people proud. And so that's kind of what we are as a company with Turf Tank. And so, you know, our, when we put a, a robot at a high school, the players are excited that their coaches have invested in a product. They're like, our coaches care about us because they're going to give us, they're going to be able to put the best, looking field that we could have with this product. Um, They're going to be able to spend more time with us instead of having to cut practice short because they got to paint the field. Mm -hmm. They're going to be able to spend, they're going to be able to show that they're not stressed out from the life of being a coach um, and having a stressed out marriage and stressed out family and worried about seeing their kids because they got to do all these other things that are on their plate. I mean, those are the things that, that really makes me the most excited about our company. It's not that, it's a robot that can paint fields, although I'm super excited about it, but I'm excited about the impact it has on people. And I'm excited about meeting people that have the same belief systems and convictions and passions that I do. And I think the world will be a better place when we can um, have that same vision together and, and focus to make our mark on um, the world we live in. And so anyway, that's just kind of, I, I think that's, that's awesome. my, yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think that's what I would have to say about the product. And I, again, like I said, we, we've got, we have customers that are small town America all the way yeah. to pro, pro teams. Um, so I'm, I'm very excited that this product can work in any of those situations. Nice. Um, and it, and it makes a difference in people's lives. And so that's, that, that, that makes it easy to be able to get up in the morning and, and work as hard as I work and to focus on the things that we focus on. So it makes it worth it. Well, coach, do me a favor. Tell me, give them the Twitter, the Facebook, the LinkedIn, the Instagram, all that stuff right now. Yep. So uh, again, turf tank.com is our website. Um, Turf underscore tank. So T U R F underscore T A N K is our Twitter handle. Um, You can find us on Instagram. If you just search turf tank on LinkedIn, search turf tank, you'll easily be able to find us. We're on Facebook. Um, we love when people share and like our, our posts. 
Um, we literally had a, a social media uh, video that went viral and had over, I think, a million views just about a month ago. And wow. so, I mean, we love, we love, we love when our product goes viral and people talk about it and get excited about it. So um, we hope to see you on the social media world. We hope to hear from you very soon and uh, let's get you a robot. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, coach, it's, here we go. It's the end of the game. Game's over. Okay. So I want to thank you very much for being on coach stone podcast. Number 40. I, I, this is awesome. I really, I really enjoyed it. Thank you very much for being on. Well, I appreciate it, Coach Stone. Thanks for having me, and I'm super excited to be a part of what you do, which is awesome as well. Well, thank you very much. Coach Stone Podcast number 40, Jason Allrich, president and founder of Turf Tank. I want to thank everyone for listening. I want to thank J.C. Hawks Radio, J.C. Hawks Sports Network, BJ for letting me do this. Remember, if you ever miss an episode and of any of my podcasts, you can listen to them on Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Stitcher Radio, Spotify, Google Play under J.C. Hawks Radio. Also, remember, go to my website for more information about podcasts, blogs, books, football tips, free PE games, and coaching accreditation programs at coachstonefootball.com. Also, I recommend if you haven't gone to my website, go to the bottom of my website with all the promo codes of all the products that I think would be help you as a coach or a player with some you'll hear during the commercial break on the podcast. Remember, if you haven't heard of my Back to the Basics book series, uh, back to the basics football drill manuals. I highly recommend them. Over 2,900 pages. I know there's more now. There's probably over 4,000. There are over 250 drills. I know that for a fact. There are in tackle books, flag book, tackle bar books, clinic notebooks, mom editions, quote books, junior editions, and soon there'll be more released at a later date. So Coach Stone podcast number 40. I'll leave you everyone with this. Always remember instilling confidence by laying a foundation one day at a time. Thank you and have a great day. Coach Stone Podcast. I can't see where you-